All right, so this is video zero for chapter six, so it kind of comes at the beginning. And in this video, we're going to review how to convert back and forth between fractions, decimals, and percents. So this is like the first page of your 6.1, 6.2 packet, maybe. Um, and I have it already filled in, so pause as you need to to kind of catch up and fill it in with me, okay? So we're going to start by talking about percents to decimals. That'll be our first one here. So remember that a percent means out of 100, right? So it's a number out of or divided by 100. So if we're dividing by 100, that's what we're actually going to be doing. But the shortcut for that is just to move the decimal point two places to the left, okay? So really a percent to a decimal, find the decimal point and move it two places to the left, and then you'll have your answer written as a decimal. So here's some examples. If I have 37%, okay, we wouldn't normally write a percent, or sorry, we wouldn't normally write a decimal point in this number because it's just a whole number, but it's here at the end, right, 37, and when I move it two places to the left, I get 0.37 or 37 hundredths, okay? 9%, again, it wouldn't normally be written in there, but we know where the decimal point is, two places to the left, 0 0.09, nine hundredths. And then I could even have a number bigger than 100%, like 120%. Still move it two places to the left, and I get 1.2, okay? So that's our first section. Again, pause anytime along here if you need to catch up, all right? Let's move on to decimals to percents. Well, we're going to do the opposite of what we just did. We're going to move the decimal point two places to the right, okay? And if we're getting a percent answer for this whole chapter, make sure any percent answers have a percent sign on your answer so you know it's a percent, right? All right, so here's my examples. 74 hundredths. Well, if I want to take 0 0.74, 74 hundredths, that's the same as... I could put it over here, 74 hundredths. Well, anything out of 100 is a percent. That's 74%, okay? Or um, 2.8, right? If we use our shortcut here, moving it just two places to the right, I get 280%. Or 0 0.05, right? Five over 100, this is five hundredths. Well, anything over 100, that's your percent, 5%, okay? The next one on here is fractions to decimals. So if I start with a fraction, how do I turn it into a decimal? Well, pretty simple. You divide the numbers, right? So this means 5 divided by 8, or this would mean 10 divided by 3. And if you're dividing, you've got two options. We're pretty much just going to always put it into our calculator and your calculator is going to give you the decimal. If you don't have a calculator, or like at the beginning of the year, we could also do long division, okay? A lot of people are still getting a little confused uh, which way we divide, so make sure you're always typing into your calculator the numerator, the top number, then divide by the bottom number, right? It's this bar that tells you to divide. So this is 5 divided by 8, I get this on my calculator. 10 divided by 3, I get this on my calculator, okay? So we are going to run into some numbers where we have to round, some repeating decimals here. We'll see all, all of those in this chapter. So what if we start with a decimal and we want to turn it into a fraction? This one is a little bit more interesting. We're going to use the place value of the decimal, right? Thinking about the formal name of the decimal places to determine what the denominator is supposed to be and then that will give us our fraction. So here's what I mean. If this is my decimal point, right, the first place value to the right of the decimal, this is tenths, right? So this is tenths. That means I'm gonna have a denominator of 10. One more decimal place over is the hundredths. So that would be a denominator of 100. Thousands, right, over 1,000. Ten thousands, if you keep going. So normally in this chapter, we'll pl probably only look at tenths and hundredths, but just be aware it could keep going. All right, so let's look at an example. The name of this decimal, we often just say 0.76, 
right? But the formal name is 76 hundredths because it goes to this place value. So 76 hundredths. And now I have it written as a fraction. I just have to also make sure I simplify it, right? So 76 hundredths, you could simplify that. I think I did it and I got 19 25ths. Okay. How about 5.9? Well, this is 5 and 9 tenths. This goes to the tenths place. So I'm going to keep my 5 as my whole number and then just look at the decimal part. 9 tenths looks like that. And that simplified, so we're good there. Let's do one more. The name of this, instead of just saying 0 0.016, we would say this is 16 thousandths. So 16 over 1,000. And then I still need to simplify that. So pause if you want to try it or type it in. Uh, let's see. I get so 2 over 125. And I want to mention here for this whole chapter, always make sure every fraction, all your fractions are simplified. Okay. All right, moving on. The next one says percents to fraction. So I'll remind you again, percent, right, means out of 100. So to take that percent, you're just going to take the percent number and write it over 100. Okay. And then like I just said, always simplify any fractions. So 25%, well, 25% means out of 100. And then we can simplify that, right? 25 out of 100, 1 fourth. 5.5%. This one, I'm still going to take my percent number, and it's still over 100. But then when I simplify this one, I don't ever want to leave a decimal inside of a fraction. So for this one, I'm going to actually double both the numbers that would get rid of my decimal, right? If I multiply by two and multiply by two, I actually get 11 over 200 as my simplified answer. And then uh, 40%, well, 40%, I can simplify that, four tenths, right? If I simplify the zeros, or that even goes further, two fifths, okay? All right, and our last one here, is fractions two percents. All right, I'm gonna move it up a little bit. So if we start with a fraction, we gotta get it to a decimal first, and then we're gonna turn that decimal into a percent, right? So step one, divide it. We said we could either use a calculator or long division. So step one is to divide and get a decimal, all right? And then take that decimal answer and convert your decimal into a percent which we already did up here, right? Decimal to a percent is just moving it over two places to the right. All right, so pause, please, if you need to kind of catch up and write this all down. We've got two examples here. When I divide one divided by three in my calculator, I get 0.33 repeating, okay? And then that's my decimal. I want to turn my decimal into a percent, so I'm going to move it two places to the right, and this would be 33.3%, okay? Or 5 divided by 2, right? 5 halves is my fraction. I divide 5 divided by 2 in my calculator, and I got this, but I want to turn it into a percent, move it over two places, 250% which makes sense, right? An improper fraction is more than one, so this is gonna end up being more than 100%. All right, so go back if you need to still fill any of this in, okay? You should have the whole chart and all the examples there so that you can look back at this to help you with the practice. Okay, what I wanna do for the rest of this video, I want you to find this page. This is page three in my packet. So I just turned one more page and I'm looking at page three of the 6.1, 6.2 packet. And we're gonna talk about this chart down here. So this is just to help you see where we are, okay? So there's some, some shortcuts, some percents that you should be able to find kind of in your head or without a calculator. You should be able to estimate them or calculate them without really typing it into a calculator. Okay, so we're gonna go over the shortcuts and you're gonna fill this in. I'll zoom in a little bit more so we can do it together. Okay, so I'm still on page three of my 6.1, 6.2 packet here. So if you wanna find 10% of something, well, to go from the full 100% to 10%, what we're really doing is dividing by 10. 
And any time you divide by 10, you're essentially just moving that decimal point over one spot to the left, okay? So I'm gonna show you here, if I start with 100 and I wanna find 10%, I move it one spot to the left and I get 10, right? Or let's do another example. If I start with 500, 10% of that would be 50, okay? Let's go through so we have all the notes filled in. If I wanna find 1% of something, well, to go from the full 100% down to 1%, we're essentially dividing by 100, right? So when you divide by 100, you move that decimal point two places to the left. All right, so let, we're still gonna use these numbers up here. If I start with 100 and I wanna find 1% of that, two places to the left, I would get one. Or if I start with 50, or sorry, 500, and I want 1% of that, two places to the left, and I get five. Okay? So you're just filling in kind of this shortcut, and then we're gonna look at a couple examples. Okay, 5%. Well, let's think about it. It's really easy to take 10%, right? That's just moving it over one spot. We have the directions right here. We're gonna keep going back to this one right here, finding 10%. And I could cut that in half in half, okay? So find the 10% and cut that in half. That's something we can do in our head fairly easily. So like for 100, here's my 10%. If I cut that in half, I'd get five. 500, well, here's my 10%. If I cut that in half, I'd get 25, okay? Well, let's keep going down. 20%, well, again, it was so easy to find 10%, I could just take that 10% and multiply it by two, double it, right? If you take 10% and double it, now you'd be at 20%. So I'm gonna go back to my 10% number and double it. Take my 10% answer and double it, okay? All right, how about 30%? Well, again, we already easily get that 10%, so now let's use that and just multiply it by three. So I got my 10% number here, multiply it by three. Got my 10% here, multiply that by three. Okay, so I'm doing all of this in my head with no calculator, just kind of using some easy shortcuts. All right, if we wanna find 50% of something, right? You know that 50% of something means you're just cutting it in half. So let's go back to our original number. If I start with 100 and I want 50% of that, cut it in half. If I start with 500 and I want 50% of that, cut it in half, okay? All right, 25%, cut it in half, that would give you 50%, and then cut it in half again. So I'm gonna say twice, right? Cut it in half twice. So I cut it in half already to get my 50% number here. I'm gonna cut that in half again. I have 50% here, I'm gonna cut that in half again. Okay? All right, we only have a couple minutes, so I'm gonna quickly go through 75%. Well, I could take 50% and 25% and add those together. And that would give me 75%. So like I have my 50% number here and my 25% number here, and we already talked about how to get those, add them together and that'll be 75%. I've got my 50% number here and my 25% number here, add them together, and that would give me 75%, okay? All right, last two here, 90%. Well, I know it might be cut out of your paper, so that's 90%. If you wanna find 90% of something, subtract 10% away from the original number, okay? So we know how to find 10% right back here at the top, that was easy. Right? So let's look at 100. If I start with 100 and I take 10% away, that'll give me my 90% number. If I start with 500 and I take this 10% away, that would give me 450. That would be 90%, okay? And then the last one here is the full original amount. So 100% of 100, 100% of 500, okay? We don't have a much time left in this video, but I do want you to finish these columns, okay? So you're gonna pause here and finish this chart. So when we check in this video, this should be filled in, all right?
So pause here and try it, and then at the very end, I'll put the answers.